Ubuntu 1604 LTS has been released recently on 21st April 2016. As its release is under long term support, so its desktop support will be for next 5 years and server support will be for next 3 years. In this video, I will demonstrate how to install desktop version of Ubuntu 16.04 LTS in Oracle VirtualBox. First of all, you have to download the ISO file of Ubuntu 16.04 LTS from the official website. Link is given in the comment section. And from here, you can download the ISO image of Ubuntu Desktop 16.04 LTS. As you have seen, the recommended system requirements are 2 GHz dual core processor or better, 2 GB of system memory, 25 GB of free hardware space, either a DVD drive or a USB port for the installer media and the last one is internet access is helpful to download the updates during the installation process. So already I downloaded the ISO image of Ubuntu Desktop 16.04 and let's come back on our Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. First step you need to take is to create a bootable Ubuntu USB flash drive or CD DVD but for this demo I'm using VirtualBox so we don't need to do that as we can directly mount the ISO image to the VM. So as we are seeing, already I created one VM named Ubuntu 16.04 LTS and already I mounted the ISO image of Ubuntu 16.04. Let's start the virtual machine to start the installation. The installation process of any Ubuntu based distribution is very simple and user friendly even for beginners. It will ask you to set the installation language, the access password and your time zone among other things. Once you boot, you should see the Ubuntu installation screen. If you want to take Ubuntu out for a spin, you can choose try Ubuntu without installing. That way, you can try a new feature of Ubuntu without installing it. If you are sure you want to run the installation, then choose install Ubuntu. For the purpose of this video tutorial, I will be using the second option as we will cover the installation process. So let's click on install Ubuntu. In the next screen, you should take both options before continue. So you don't have to go through the hassle of installing updates and codec after you might have completed the installation. If you are without an internet connection though, the first options will be grey out but then you can take the second and continue your installation. For this demonstration, we are going to select the both options, download updates while installing Ubuntu and install third party software for graphic and Wi-Fi hardware, flash, mp3 and other media. Click on continue to continue. At this point, you have to choose your installation type and here the first box is by default selected is it is disk and install Ubuntu. Now for this demonstration, I am going to select the something else because I want to create the manual partitioning for this Ubuntu installation. Let's click on continue. Let's click on new partition table to create a new partition table. Click on continue. Select the free disk space. Let's click on plus sign and uh, let's select the mount point slash and let's give this size. Click on OK. Let's again select the free space. Click on plus sign. And this time we are going to select this web partition area. Click on OK. So for this demonstration, I have a two partition. One is a slash and second one is a swap. Click on install now. Click on continue. This is where you have to select your current location. The setup will auto detect your location if you are connected to the internet. Now in my case, the location is Kolkata according to my internet. Click on continue. Configure as needed depending on your type of keyboard and default input language. Let's click on continue. This is where you have to enter your user detail. Let's specify the username and let's specify the password. Let's click on continue. Right up next, the beginning of uh, installation which uh, depending on your PC hardware can take a long or short time. At this point, the installation is complete and now you may restart your PC. So let's click on restart now to restart the computer. Once you have restarted, you are now greeted with the login screen where you input your password and press enter to continue to open to 1604 desktop. And here we go. This is the desktop of newly installed Ubuntu desktop 1604 LTS. Let's click on settings. Click on details. And as you can see, Ubuntu 1604 LTS. So this is the way how we can install Ubuntu 16.04 desktop edition in Oracle VM VirtualBox. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.